What do you do, Cheryl? I am a PR practitioner. Okay, good. That's what. How did you all meet? At a um, comedy club? Yeah, I worked at a casino. I was the PR manager for a casino. He used to perform at the comedy club there. Oh. Um, and that's how we got chatting. Let's go. Got to chat? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well, we did you know right away when you saw her? I knew immediately. Immediately. And then she knew like two years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. No, it's very true. That's not true. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> I'm a patient man, Steve. <laughs> you know, Steve, I'm the one that's blessed. I have found an unbelievable man. I'm so proud to be his wife. He treats me like a queen. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very blessed. Wow. Wow. All right. Stop it. No. All right, ain't nothing wrong, no wrong with some live sugar. Let's go. Play. Besides meat, name something you need at a bride. Salad. Salad. Let's go. All right. Mom, how are you today, Miss Gail? I'm fabulous. You look you. absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank Steve, you. And so do you. Th well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I just found out at the face off that I was rather handsome. <laughs> 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 See, I, I knew I wasn't going to be a good looking man because my mother told me when I was nine that. We don't have handsome men in our family. <laughs> <laughs> so stop standing in the mirror thinking you cute. <laughs> Cause you're not. <laughs> My mother told me, look, your daddy ain't cute. <laughs> but he's strong, he a hard worker, and he provide for his family. <laughs> I like, I like, oh, slave mode, that's how I feel. I feel you. Hey, you got it. Hey, you got to get all them attributes. You go do the same thing, and you can get a good-looking woman. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then she said, always dress well, because every woman loves a well-dressed man. OK. Yes. yes. So that's why he, so why he keeps the fresh. Preach. I knew I wasn't going to be cute. So I bought a lot of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. I kid you not, y'all. Think I'm just not a joke. It's the truth. Miss Gail, besides meat, name something you need at a bride. A potato. A potato. One potato. The potato. Do a potato salad. Potato salad. Yeah. Oh, they put in veggies. I got on veggies. Miss Kate, how are you? Hi, I'm wonderful, thank Good. you. Good, what do you do? Um, I'm actually the manager of Jason. All right. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Well, let's Keeping play. in the family. Besides meat, name something you need for a bride. Bride tongs. Tongs. Oh. To turn the Utens meat. Tongs. Utensils. To turn the meat Utensils. to tongs. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh. How you, how you can't have no utensils? Right, strike, Ryan. Besides meat, name something you need at a bride. Drink. You definitely need a drink. You need a drink. I ain't saying it has to be alcohol, but you need beverages. You need something to drink. Yeah! Oh, they said alcohol. Jason, besides meat, name something you need at a bride. Rolls. Bread rolls. Rolls. Bread rolls. Bread. Come on. Okay. Come on. One more they, they crushing. Sean. Yes. One strike. Besides meat, name something you need at a bride. A lighter or something to light the fire. A lighter. That's got to be on there. <laughs> what? How's that not on there? All right, we got two strikes, Miss Gail. We got to be careful. The more the, the other family can steal. <laughs> <laughs> Besides meat, name something you need for a bride. A bride stand. The bride stand. What is that? The bride stand. The bride stand. <laughs> Great move, Watch, I'm about to pull up what a bride stand is, because in the states, it's just it's just a barbecue grill. It, it stands on the legs that it that is connected to. Okay, two strikes. You can clear the board. If not, the Motelese family can still. The okay, I'm sorry. Just Mudisele. All right, I'm gonna get it right. I'm not gonna get Mudisele. Besides meat, name something you need for a bride. Um, serviettes or roller tiles or something to clean. Serviettes. Serviettes. Napkins. Napkins. What, what did you say? Serviettes. Napkins. Serviettes. Napkins. 
Napkins, paper towels. Napkins? Yes. Yeah. You call those servients? Yes. Really? <laughs> servients is come a on, napkin? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Servients! They're rushing. They're rushing them. <laughs> no. <laughs> you threw it up and... Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> they was over there making all the signals. <laughs> Besides meat, name something you need for a bride. Music. You need music. Gotta have music. Music! Yeah! What? What? Music, you do, you gotta have music at, at, a, at a bride barbecue. Spices. Man, okay. Anyway. Anyway. Spices. Oh, you need music, man. Man, we got we got you gonna have the, the brass stand, you're gonna have the charcoal, you're gonna have the, the lighter, you gonna have you got the alcohol, you got all these, but then you know no music. That sounds boring. Anyway, man, that was it, man. That was Steve Harvey, man. Y'all already know what we had to do, man. A barbecue. Now I know what a bri is. Yeah, now I know the bri when I see it. So, of course, I'm gonna keep doing more of these, man. I see that y'all kind of y'all like these. Y'all like comedy, direct comedy, a little bit better. Um, but y'all like these too. But I like these too because I like to guess it myself and like act like I'm in the game. You feel me? So that's it for this one, man. I'll see you on the next one. Man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Share this with your mama, your family, your cousins too. Okay. See y'all later, man. Don't forget Aura.com. Do not forget Aura.com. Don't be in fear of going over there and clicking on the site, man. It's all secure. All right. Bye-bye.